This is the time of youngsters. Amen. See the clapping. When you when you clap, you know what I feel. You know what I understood. They say, "Kya run home." They are clapping. They want only young people. So I really feel I come just because I have to come, but at least one day, two day to see you. Otherwise, there is absolutely no need for me. There was a time in Baraka. Ten days school. If I miss one day, you can't believe world war will break out. Twenty-one days prayer conference. Twenty-one days, every day four five hours. Other yeah, those days you could have seen me video high pitch singing, high pitch shouting, and there were. <laughs> After 15 20 days I couldn't whisper I couldn't even say mummy I couldn't speak when I open the cough comes so much my throat was wounded so those days I cannot escape take leave one day so I can tell you too many stories how I <laughs> suddenly Three days meeting, all the refresher schools, uh, school people who attended the school. We used to have one year refresher schools. Would you be interested? So, <laughs> one time, first day I preached. The next day, cough and fever. I couldn't get up and I couldn't speak. So my leaders were puzzled. So. Pastor Paulus, our counselor, was there. One of my very closest friend of mine, whom I used to admire. I miss him terribly. So he went and pacified people. They wanted to put me in the air plane to Chennai. I said, "Lord, people are here. They came all the way from every corner of this nation." I cannot cheat them. See, you have to understand. For us, ministry is not a performance. It's not a stage performance. We carry you. We know from where you came, how you struggle and came. What you need is not a man of God to show you his talents. What you need is the voice of God. What you need is the touch of God. What you need is the presence of God. Every man of God, I challenge you. God didn't select you just to show how powerful you can be. Ministry is nothing but transferring God into the people. Never forget it. Never forget it. When you go, you don't give words. You don't give a song. You don't just speak. From you, the presence of God, the Spirit of God, like a tsunami, must flow, touching the lives, breathing into the dead lives, giving courage and victory. That happens only when you recognize the glory that shining in you, the presence that made you who you are. Don't demand respect from people. I am a man of God. Honor me. You don't need to say that. When when you radiate God, when God's presence flows. People automatically respect. Moses, when he came from mountain, 
His face was so much shining. For Moses, the glory, the shining, the presence came from outside to him. He was there in the presence 40 days. So he was talking to God face to face. So the radiator. But for you and me, the glory doesn't come from outside. The glory is shining inside. If you understand this one truth, your ministry will jump from Old Testament to New Testament. My pain in my heart is majority of the powerful preachers in India are still living in the Old Testament. Old Testament teaching, Old Testament begging, Old Testament cry, but not Old Testament miracles. Old Testament haircut, Old, Old Testament dress code, Old Testament rebukes, Old Testament seriousness. Of course, Old Testament saints were not as serious as today our preachers portray. Old Testament, David danced. They were, they forgot. So, the New Testament, you have heard me preaching on what the NT difference. That's like heaven and earth difference. Old Testament was blessing, manifesting so much power to touch the sense world. What you see, what you hear, what you touch, what you smell, in that realm God moved. In the New Testament, He bypasses our senses and He goes into our spirit. From there, He speaks. From there, he moves. From there, he heals. So Christian life is inside out. It's not fasting 40 days to receive something. <laughs> if you fast, good. But not to receive, but to release. I tell you, if you get this one revelation, when you came, you were wondering, I prayed, why nothing happened? I worked, why no fruits? I tried, why I became dried? <laughs> All reason is, you were searching in a wrong place. You searched in a wrong place. The angel said, you are seeking the alive one among the dead. So please understand, Old Testament saints, including Elijah, Elisha, even Moses, he was not born again. Inner man, for them, was not resurrected. That's why the Old Testament saints had major problems. And God has to say, okay, uh, all are blind, one eye open, you are a king. Jo Noah was righteous in his generation, not before God. Now you and I have 100% righteousness of God. Major difference. The greatest miracle that happens is inside. That's why we don't see outside many miracles. Once when you begin to understand the inside, what you carry, then 
miracles became everyday occurrence church growth in the acts of the apostles was daily church growth not after healing crusade six months and again church empty no it changes beloved so i am so happy those days people looked at me ezekiel na ezekiel na if ezekiel na is there why should we come one meeting you know i preached for 3 hours 3 to 2 uh, less than 3 uh, hours and many people didn't want to come next time she preaches only 3 hours how cruel people are so now god has made it without me this baraka ministry can go from glory to glory to glory that's why why i say that all pastors leaders here if you are your father already naturally if you have children even one child you are your father mother now you have to produce spiritual sons and daughters and focus on their speciality molding them pushing them to the front gracefully going behind and pushing them a yeah, time comes people will say they won't say where is the father they will say where is the son hallelujah when that comes this nation will be full of god's mighty apostles makila handola baskinda so i really want that you start producing believers no sons and daughters invest your life pour your life in them now i am extremely happy when others are more powerful than me coming and standing that my joy now it's like a father when a son is winning a world record or anything the father rejoices more than the son Amen. have you seen that yes. if a father is 3 feet and the son is 6 feet the son is not aware the father will look at him very tall you know he will tell everybody see how tall he is that's your father Amen. have you ever seen your father Have you ever seen a father become insecure and depressed because his son is one feet higher than him? <laughs> you know how many parents pray, Lord, let not our children suffer the sufferings I suffered. That should be the heart attitude. So I am, I am only talking to the senior men and women of God. So God will make you a, you will see next time when I see you, you will bring so mighty men and women of god and you will say they are my sons and daughters stotra mandavre kal hatro lift up your hand and say father make me your father and mother and mother for the younger generation for the younger generation raise up the younger generation of mighty apostles of mighty apostles mighty prophets mighty prophets mighty evangelists mighty evangelists mighty pastors mighty pastors and mighty teachers mighty teachers miracle workers miracle workers the whole world the whole world is filled is filled with the mighty men and women of god by the mighty men and women of god in 19 in 1988 you know i did many ministries I was an evangelist. I led many people to Christ. Then I was, somebody said, your ministry calling is evangelist. Then I began to sing songs. When I, some compose songs or other songs. When I sing, those days, the Holy Spirit will fall on the crowd. There were times, I just hardly began to sing one stanza. Hundreds of thousands of people started crying. my leader could not know what to do with a meeting the next preacher is ready to preach i am only a singer and testifier the crowd was hijacked by the holy spirit hours and hours people are crying 
I tell you, you don't need 10 point sermon to convince a person. When the Holy Spirit river flows, one stanza will melt the entire congregation. You should believe in that level of glory that when you enter your church, people are singing and you enter, the glory should fill the place and people should go healed. And people who wait for the Holy Spirit baptism for 10 years, 20 years, when you enter, the Holy Ghost must fall. When the Holy Spirit begins to begins His ministry through you, you don't need to struggle so much. The whole night you labored and hard work and you used your all expertise like Peter. Peter was an expert fisherman. The whole night he worked. Morning he was just taking the net without a single fish. That is human effort. When Jesus appears on the scene and he speaks one word, the whole net is about to break. Amen. Why people come to Baraka? Because we preach a teaching that you don't get anywhere in the world. Nowadays, click the internet. Why people come? It was a jungle. When I came first time, you must see it. People said, who will come here? I said, wait and see. <laughs> it's the presence that pulls people. It's the fresh word from God that fills your boat. It's something that goes out of you that binds people and pull them. Did you understand that? Modern days young people ministry concept is very different. Very different. They think ministry means Skoda car. Skoda. Podava. Very recently I know that name exists. <laughs> big wall poster and big photos. <laughs> and everybody looking at you. Uh, bhaiya, bhaiya, touch me, touch me. And the young people are under the kick. Like intoxicated alcohol. God hates that kind of attitude. You distribute God. So please change all the concepts of the ministry. Why do you come here? What is special here? I tell you, you don't need anything, brother. You don't need anything. You have everything inside. Open up the rivers. Out of his belly. In other words, innermost being shall flow. Amen. Ministry is not pumping. It's flowing. Amen. It's bubbling. So please understand all these things in your heart. So now you are going home. Everything will be saved. Only you are not saved. That's all ministry. That's ministry. The same demon. Do you know from Adam till today, he looks same. He's still not very smart. If he is smart, he would have not allowed you to come here. <laughs> he couldn't stop your cycle he couldn't stop that bus you were climbing
imagine he would have blasted your bus <laughs> your picture would have come in all the newspaper <laughs> he could have just twisted little bit of the train you came and derailed that's the power devil has the power that devil has over you is the power you gave him thank you for that sweet face if you don't give place to the devil he has is it e r o power over you people are afraid anna don't say that he will attack you tomorrow <laughs> i have seen the pentecostal believers are tongue talking believers they have given extraordinary power to the devil the non pentecostals they don't talk about devil pentecostals them professionals <laughs> devil attacks me devil comes to me devil comes to me devil comes to me. hello half a century more than half a century i have seen that fellow that's why i speak <laughs> why you look at uh, some people are so scared <laughs> jesus you know when he died when he rose again you have to understand in the old testament time devil was very active he had a big head the whole world computer cannot match his brain but after jesus died and rose again his head was crushed i don't say it just for you to say oh i say it it is 100% real but you don't know it devil will not like you to hear it devil works in deception do you know he cannot directly face you even to adam the devil was not bold enough to talk to adam hello mr adam actually adam was standing by eve at that time both were holding hands how do you know it and i saw your vision <laughs> they were newly married couple not old couple like <laughs> they were holding hands and they were singing and walking the bible says eve gave fruit to her husband who was with her she didn't say hello honey he was here when she took that he also looked at it but why this fellow didn't talk to him why to her some people talk more to her I don't say don't talk to her <laughs> don't misunderstand me talk to him and her little extra him or at least equal <laughs> okay talk to she ta barata why he couldn't the glory was so much he couldn't talk to him and he was she understood there is some point so what i am saying is 
Jesus said, when he rose again, and when he went to heaven, he said, all, everybody say, all authority in heaven, in earth, is given to me. Therefore, go, preach, heal, deliver, cast out. Please, please understand what I am saying is A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Yesterday I was so sad. I was sharing it with my team. One month, still we are meeting their needs. Three days before Alex cries, you don't take your wife's word. You make her cry. Oh my God, I'm saying all the one month only you, 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 you. What a, what a kindergarten stage it is. One week for you, all the three months, all the three weeks, how to change the nation. How to pull down the strongholds of India, Pakistan, Bangladesh. How to change the entire Europe. How to take the gospel there. How to raise the dead. How to heal the sick. That should be. Why we could not go? Because so much junk in you. We have to work in your life. When I got saved, when I was saved as a small boy, 13, 14 years, or my wife, or Alex, all of us, when we got saved, they didn't deal with us. They didn't even cast out devil. None of these things. Nobody comforted us. So <laughs> you, you enjoy it Comfort us They didn't do it for us When God saved You know what they say You are saved Yes To save the world We started running. We started distributing tracks. Most of our cry was users to change the world. <laughs> now, <laughs> you, 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 my wife, my children. <laughs> the church became so sickly. One month, you were in the ICU ward. When to go to general ward? Then to go, went to go to the office. Recently, for the, now I see the decline of the condition of the church. All self-centered. All self-centered. For what? To change the nation. How to become a millionaire. Yes, good. Why? To evangelize the nations. Every, everything is for the world. God so loved the world and he gave his only begotten son. Did you understand that? So, you know, that motivated us. When we were young, that was the push. I used to cry, Lord, don't leave me, use me. Don't use me, please, please. I used to cry, Lord, never allow me to go into the world and work, Lord. Please, use me. That motivation. Not me, 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 me. And we preachers are only soaping you, bathing you, dressing you, decorating you. You, 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 you. In this world, you are all is all to me. It's time that we get up. Jesus said, all authority, heaven in heaven and on earth is given to me. I ask you, does he need any authority? He, he was God. 
He is God. He is the source of all authority. Then why he has to die and resurrect and take the keys of hell and the keys of death from the bottomless pit and talk to the people and before going, all authority is given to me. Why? To give you. Please, please tell me. All, everybody say all authority. All authority. All authority. All authority. Over all the world, over all the demons, is given to Jesus and he gave it to me. Please understand, all authorities with you mean how much authority is with the devil? People think, shall I open mouth or not? Because your life experience doesn't say it. You think all authority is with him and you are here. You know why? We don't know the truth. We don't know the truth. So when you go back home, if you become aware of who is in you, what is given to you, you know what will happen? Devil has zero authority over your life. He might oppose you. He might try to block you. Even Paul says, I wanted to come to you. The devil hindered me. Why? Because you will go and impart the gift. For that the devil can come. Because you go and damage him. When Jesus and the disciples went to Gadarenes, and the Gadarenes, there was a demon possessed man. You remember? More than 6,000 demons. And Jesus said, disciple said, come we will go. He goes only to damage that fellow. And make him an evangelist. Because of that, devil tried to block. That is an offensive battle. You are on the way. He says, don't come please. Please don't come. That's okay. Now your battle is, and now the devil attacks me, my eyes. Pluck it out. <laughs> my hands, and the devil attacks me, and computer, and cut your hands. <laughs> See, please, you know, come out of that. Now your battle should be like that. I come with all the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of God. You know what Paul said in Romans 15? When I come to you, when I come to you, I will come to you with all the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of God. So, in the first chapter, he says, I wanted to come to you, devil hindered me. That is a good battle. Which one you choose? Which one you choose? So, listen to me. You must understand the spiritual battles. The spiritual battle is overemphasized by the church. Whenever they talk about the devil, they make him like a hero. Now God is raising new kind of preaching. Amen. New kind of generations to tell the world devil is not hero. He may be he may be a hero for this world not for my world <laughs> Jesus said the prince of this world do you belong to this world no. you are the citizens of yes. then what right he has over you he is, everybody say, He is, he is the ruler, ruler of this world. 
say <laughs> he's a ruler he's a ruler over this world of uh, this world not to me not to me wow can i tell you the bible says he has made us he will make us he has made us kings and priests priest. now you say he made me a ruler he made me a ruler of of devil amen i tell you every time devil re- sees you you don't know what he talks to his subordinate that's your problem when you, when you get up you know he calls him hey boss is getting up <laughs> whether you believe it or not that's true when you walk when you walk you know what the devil the devil congregation sing raja araha raja vargira raja yesu vargira this is the truth he has made as not one person exception the day you are washed you are crowned if this revelation goes you have no fear when the fear goes out of you she fears you every time you get up in the morning you will say i yo another day so please please understand whether you know it or not when you go home the only way the devil can come to you is not directly only through tricks if there is no tricks he is nothing they used to say tamil aambla anda vaada nera <laughs> that mean if you are a real man come before me and fight straight straight the devil cannot do that he has to use his technique that's why the bible never says the bible says you can withstand the schemes of the devil the tricks the tricks when you know that you will understand oh why do you use tricks you tell me if you have a revolver if you have crown if you are a inspector general come straight away order what you are arrested show me the government seal devil cannot come to you like that he will sneak through tricky ways Huh? Thief. Will he say, 8 o'clock, I am coming. <laughs> He is a thief. But the police will not come. He will say, I am coming. Yes. So, okay. So, the spiritual battle, we hyped it. Jesus said, the prince of this world. Everybody say, the prince of? The prince of this world. Okay. Will you accept him as your prince? Yes. No. Please tell me. Is the devil your prince? No. Is he a ruler over you? No. He is your is he your authority? No. Can he has any right to attack you? No. Jesus said it. The prince of this world is coming. He has nothing in him. you heard me saying all these days now i no longer live christ lives in me if christ lives in you what do you have for the enemy 
And he said, he has nothing in me. With that conscious, Jesus. That's why when the demon saw Jesus, before he opened his mouth, when they saw Jesus, the Bible says they screamed. When I casted out devil when I was 16 years old, I read the Bible. Nobody taught me how to cast out the devil. If I tell all those funny stories, you will laugh and mock at me. I am a prestigious man. <laughs> I want to fully open. You know, I didn't know what, how to cast out the devil. A college boy, small boy, my Lutheran pastor saw me praying all the time. So when I went on holiday, one village church, he said, Tambidu, Tambi, uh, my younger son, and uh, go to the village church and take it in your holiday. So I went by cycle. I go and preach in a small village people, 10 people. So when I, when I went by cycle, you know what I thought? I'm going by Skoda car. <laughs> For that, the whole night I used to pray in tongues. I don't know. I know only that. Pray, read, pray, read, pray, read, read, pray. No other technique. Ministry has no other technique. No shortcut. Apostle said, we will not we will not sew tables. We will not sew tables. I have seen pastors who will go market, market, why? To buy two kilos alu bangan for the believer's house. I used to say, hey, before visiting house, visit your father. So what happened? I went there and I was just standing and sang one song. Suddenly one, one lady, ah, no. I started shivering. I didn't know what it is. Actually, you know, my legs were hitting each other. People would have thought I was anointed. Those days, those days, I don't know how to cast out the devil. In another village, I was preaching. Hundreds of people, because I told my grandpa, Grandpa, I said, I'm going to pray for healing and demon casting. I read the Bible, I copied it. I didn't have any books at that time. Very senior wrote one or two books. I know something. So the demons scream, I don't know what to do. I said, Lord, whip them, Lord. Whip them, Lord. One demon scream. When I say, ah, ah, he's then that, that technique finished. I don't know what to do. Put fire, Lord. I, you know, honestly, I tell you, ah, fire. She was screaming. Ah, oh no. You know what happened? She was scrabbing the sand. Blood rushes out. She said, burning, burning, burning. I started laughing. Then I said, sorry, Lord. When I cast out the devil, I laugh, Lord. You know, because we are godly people, you know. <laughs> Casting out the devil and laughing. At that time, in the name of Jesus, Totram, 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 Totram. Hallelujah. Either Udar Nai Dekarde. All eyes closed. Devil, go. I started laughing. Then I'm saying, sorry, Lord, for I laugh, Lord. Again, I laugh. <laughs> I understand. That's why when the apostles came to Jesus, not apostles, disciples, 70 disciples, disciple. In the early church, in Jesus' time, disciples were specialists to cast out the devil. So what happened? They, they rejoiced. They rejoiced. They said, Lord, even the demons obey. <laughs> even the demons obey. 
you know what they thought they have never seen anybody obeying them before coming here one disciple wanted to give an orange fruit to the wife the wife said no so he thought even my wife doesn't obey children doesn't obey the demons open there was there was so much laughing the best way to cast out the devil laughing i want to tell you devil hates when god's people rejoices when you cry he laughs when you laugh he cries get it so it was so funny so funny i was thinking is it true or not the devil is a liar you know how to believe it he said oh fire some hey, he is pouring fire oh you know, somebody is pouring fire she is scrabbing scrabbing and the blood oozes so then only i thought oh he is not a liar <laughs> <laughs> so what i want to tell you is this is the authority i exercised as a 16 year old boy amen jesus said when they said he is casting out demon by the beer sabab jesus said okay if i cast out demon by beer sabab by whom you are children cast out the first sign the first sign of a believer jesus said in mark 16 17 you all know the scripture i give you the introduction then we will see how god will take the parakata rashi korabala handa and these signs will follow those who believe in my name they will cast out demons please tell me what's the first sign of a believer cast out demons first sign please tell me what is the first sign cast out means send out ah huh? please go ah huh? imagine if a believer sign is that what should be apostles prophets evangelist pastors teachers don't say casting out demon is not my calling i am a pastor don't say that in ezekiel 34 the prophet was prophesying and crying to the pastors you know what god said my shepherds have not delivered the sheep from the wolves david everybody say david david was shepherding was shepherding his father's sheep his father's sheep yes or no yes he was taking care of the father's sheep one lion came what did he do what did he do he gave his life and plucked it out from the mouth's lion he hey your sheep are in the mouth of the lion you are a pastor shepherd i tell you god is going to bring that revival that miracles every believer will cast out the devil kalara shakara bahata you change your mind you always think satan is so big he is the prince of this world not to you your prince is jesus your kingdom is heavenly kingdom thank you jesus thank you holy spirit can we go now something about the spiritual battle okay go to exodus 17 chapter all the congregation of the children of israel set out on their journey from the wilderness of sin according to the commandment of the lord 
and camped in Rephidim, but there was no water for the people to drink. Therefore, the people contented with Moses and said, Give us water that we may drink. So Moses said to them, Why do you contend with me? Why do you tempt the Lord? And the, law, and the people thirsted there for the water, and the people complained against Moses and said, Why is it you have brought us up out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our livestock with thirst? So Moses cried out to the Lord, saying, What shall I do with this people? They are almost ready to stone me. And the Lord said to Moses, Go on before the people and take with you some of the elders of Israel and take in your hand your rod with which you struck the river and go. Behold, I stand before you there on the rock in Horeb and you shall strike the rock and water will come out of it and that the people may drink. And Moses oh, did so. Okay, yes. come now. Yes. Uh, last two words read, last three words. Then the Lord said to Moses, Write this for a memorial in the book of book and recount it in the hearing of Joshua. Please understand. Write this. Underline. Write this. Write this. For a memorial. For a memorial. In the book. In the book. Number two. And recount it in the hearing of Joshua. Recite it. Recount it in the hearing of Joshua. Yes. That I will utterly blot out the Remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. Everybody say, God. God promised. Promised. He will utterly. He will utterly blot out. Blot out even the remembrance. Even the remembrance of God's enemy. Of God's enemy. How many of you believe it's a promise? Amen. I read Alex. I, then the Lord said to Moses, write this for a memorial in the book and recount it in the hearing of Joshua that I will utterly blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. And Moses built an altar and called its name, the Lord is my banner. Moses built an altar and called its name, the Lord is my banner. All of you say it. this battle. This battle is the first battle. Is the first battle Israelites did. Israelites did. Am I right? Yes. They came out of Egypt. That Egypt battle. They came to 14 chapter. They came to the Red Sea. The whole Egyptians came. Did they fight? No. Did they involve in the battle? Did they take your uh, did they take your sword? No. Nothing. God did it. Everything God did it. He said, stand and see. I do. So he opened. Moses only did the battle. Only Moses. He took a rod and he said, You divide. He divided. The enemies, they didn't fight. They turned back. All the enemies are under the water. Amen. So everybody say it. The first battle. The first battle. God delivered them. God delivered them. Out of Egypt. Out of Egypt. Out of. Out of. Total God's power. Total God's power. Man is not involved. Except the leader anointed Moses who represents Jesus. That's not one. This happened in our day of salvation. How many of you know salvation is the greatest miracle? Yes. Those who are saved, lift up your hands. Saved. Born again. Can I tell you, when you are born again, you have seen the greatest miracle of... Greatest miracle. The Bible says in Hebrews... How a great salvation. Amen. Read that, read that to Hebrews 2. Hebrews 2, four. 3. 3 turn 4. Uh, three. How shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed to us by those who heard him? Everybody say, so, so, so great, great, great salvation. salvation. 
everybody says salvation salvation is the greatest victory is the greatest victory the g- salvation salvation is the greatest battle i have seen is the greatest battle i have seen when you know this truth you know you will not be afraid of spiritual battle because i already when i was born again i have gone through the biggest enemy the strongest enemy and god has fought the greatest battle shout it so great so great salvation salvation you tell me amalekites came all the enemies came against israel who is the greatest enemy in the old testament egypt that's why god repeatedly will say you remember i have delivered you out of egypt i have delivered you out of egypt you celebrate the pascha that was the day i redeemed you from the mighty arm of the devil so the highest enemy was defeated in your life and my life the day we were saved amen the enemy that we see is no comparison that the enemy that was holding us before salvation after salvation every demon you see is a chota small demon colossians 1:13 has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the son of his love everybody say already already he has he has passed and he has he has delivered us delivered us from the from the power of power of darkness darkness in acts 26 it says from satan to god amen before salvation the devil was holding us tightly and we had his nature devil's nature was in our lives so he was holding a tightly like a strong man fully armed luke chapter 11:21 when like a strong man fully armed you know you have to see it as a foundation then we will see ha huh, quick when a strong man fully armed God's his own palace everybody say the strong man strong man fully armed fully armed God's his own palace God's his own palace the whole world was in his hand the, the whole world, world was the strong man's palace we were his goods he was strong fully armed because before Jesus went to the cross devil was fully Um, how many of you believe that fully armed on the cross on he the... disarmed amen when you understand this truth when you go there you will become a devil driver amen. you will be a master of demons amen. your ministry will have mighty deliverances amen. you will have great salvation amen. you will have raising the dead you will have healing ministry so you have to understand the greatest battle of your life is already finished the day you got saved enemy's power over you is 100% broken now the enemy comes you know he is not holding you he comes so that god said what did god say i will take you out of egypt take you to the land you will possess the land the land of hivites the land of amalekites the land of perizzites they have so jebusites to so all the sites so god said i delivered you so that you will possess the nations so now the battle you and i see is not the battle to hold us 
just we we don't take the nation he is ruling india now you are rising up he will say don't come to me i leave you alone but don't come to me the, the whole battle concept is changed do you understand did you understand that please uh, please uh, i will i will go detailed into that maybe tomorrow um, you are all fasting now so i don't want to strain you say it. that is a picture that is a picture before jesus come before jesus comes devil was devil was a strong man a strong man jesus himself said strong man yes it's true he was strong man that, that that's why devil uh, caused every man of god to fall even moses could not go to canaan david he said he is after my own heart but how many wives he had why god did it because god understood they are in the grip of the enemy god saw the nature was not changed david was not a new creation old creation the anointing came and he became a raja samson was not a new creation he will he will do big miracle and next minute he will go to a prostitute that's a old testament please understand that why mighty miracle workers fall into sin they don't understand the new nature is in me god's nature is in me now that's why i, I said even people who preach about new covenant they fall into sin because what they preach they don't believe they don't act on it jesus said when the strong man fully armed who said that jesus. you tell me who is the strong man we have to read it the strong man is the prince of this world the strong man is the ruler of this world you say yes or no the strong man is the old serpent that came to garden of eden from adam and eve fell into sin he became a strong man of this world fully armed then what he says he is guarding his own palace now you tell me the whole world is in the evil one you say the whole world whole world is, is now now taken by taken by the devil the devil so who is the ruler of this world the devil who said it jesus jesus said it. paul said it so the world is in the in the hand of the devil Ephesians 6 you can read it from 10 to uh, 18 you can read it the the bible says principalities powers then rulers of this darkness of this world everybody say the whole world the whole world say the whole world the whole world is ruled is ruled by worldly values we wanted to, our whole concept this world to become a big person to earn then next word what's 22 but when a stronger than he comes upon him everybody say stronger stronger than he who is that jesus say it again who is that jesus shout it jesus stronger than he comes upon him who comes upon whom who is who is in the defense who is in the offense okay okay now you are in christ and christ is in you now now the devil should jump over you or you should jump over the devil send the picture now you have to go you have to say devil where are you i come 
you are holding my village you are holding my family amen you are holding my church believers now they belong to come to the church now they are drinking with you i come to you have to go and jump over that's a new covenant lifestyle that's a new creation the new creation is created into the image of christ the new creation is the stronger one when you know the new creation reality is you find the devil you go to the enemy's home you see jesus every place you went even when he went to gadarenas he said hey the stronger one is coming to gadarenas when he went to galilee people who sat in darkness have seen a great light so see that when you are stronger than he who are you are you a new creation yes are you stronger than the devil yes according to first john 44 according to first john 44 we'll see you, some scriptures and uh, you are of god little children even, and uh, everybody say even for little children even for little children this is the fact this is the fact i am born of god i am born of god i come from god i come from god i am the shoot out of my jesus i am the shoot out of my jesus you understand that he is the wine he is a wine i am the bread i am the bread i come of god i am of god i may be a little child i may be a little child what the bible says and and have overcome them please understand will overcome have overcome hello how many of you know past tense present tense future tense okay you read it you will overcome them no have overcome them you are of god yes correct little children that's right i am a little baby you will overcome him please understand spiritual battle victory secret number one secret is if you say i will overcome anna after the semi school i will win him you are already lost <laughs> you didn't even take the bat before that dug out <laughs> in the old testament and the new testament major differences tens changed Old Testament I will bless you New Testament He has Bless me So if you want blessing Old Testament Lord you said you will bless me <laughs> Bless me Lord Today many of our mighty preacher bless them Lord bless them Lord bless them Lord actually they are very sincere but what he new testament show me one word is there anybody here bible theology and one word in the new testament after pentecost one word people asked us bless me bless them bless us bless us please is there a one person prayed many are in doubt <laughs> let us wait what asekana says then we will say i also thought about it <laughs> one person prayed lord bless me like like jacob unless you bless me i will not let you go one person in the some people say i'm going to fast for 10 days unless he bless me i will not come die <laughs> k 
can I tell, tell, tell you? One person in the New Testament prayed, Deliver me. Deliver me. Chukkara doi pa prabhu. One person. Okay, I will bet. Alex, how much we can bet? 10,000? 10. Huh? More also. Okay, one crore I will give you. If you show one person in the New Testament, pray for deliverance. Please understand, spiritual battle starts with victory. You don't need deliverance. You don't need deliverance. He has. Keep this word and go back to Colossians 1.13. He has delivered us. Wait, 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 wait. He will deliver us. He has. Now please see the word and tell me. Don't don't look at me and say. Yes, deliver. You know, you heard about tongue talking. If you pray every day one hour, he will deliver you. If you fast every day, he will deliver you. Shout it. He, he has, has delivered. Delivered. As all. As all. Every born again believer was delivered. He starts from the day of independence. Amen. Salvation. How many of you are born after the independence day? After independence, uh, uh, not day. After India got independence. Really? So many old people are alive. <laughs> Before independence. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. Before independence. So your life started after independence. Your life started as Indian ruled by India. Yeah, man. Same way when you got saved, when you accepted Jesus, when you say, Jesus, I come to you. One kingdom, from one kingdom, you are delivered. Redeemed. Into another kingdom. And transferred us, conveyed us, conveyance, you know, transferred us into the kingdom of God's Son. Now, everybody must shout now. I, I was, was delivered, delivered from, from the power of, the power of darkness. darkness. I, I was, was transferred, transferred from Satan's kingdom, from Satan's kingdom to God's son kingdom. To God's son kingdom. So already you are delivered. Already you are in another kingdom. That is a winning kingdom. If you have this revelation, when the Israelites came out of Egypt, finished, they are transferred. So far they were under Egypt. Now they are under Jehovah. From one kingdom to another kingdom. This one revelation will open us very clearly. So what you have to say when the enemy attacks you, you have to say, I am already delivered from your power. That's the only way to walk in victory. 
immediately you go into cry deliver the devil is attacking me i have to fast and pray for deliverance no it it's waste waste of time he has delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us see it's all not for special people us us all colossians all ephesians so everybody say when the new covenant came the, when the new covenant came tense change tense change amen from i will from i will now i was now i was he will bless you say for example now i will anoint you you were anointed so when a strong man comes but when stronger than he comes ah. upon him hmm. and overcomes him and he takes from him all this armor in which he trusted and divides his spoils so devil jesus came and took all his armor amen and he took you as his own property now you stand up and shout this scripture we are going to shout ka hatoro shene ba ka tora ba shikara na and come to first john 4 4 malaraka tora ba shikara ba shara ba ra ba tara ba ra ba thank you jesus first john you are four. you are of god everybody say I am from God. I am from God. I am born of God. I am born of God. I am of God. I am of God. He is the wine. He is the wine. I am his branch. I am his branch. I am out of him. I am out of him. I am of God. I am of God. Yes, I am a little child. I yes, I am a little child. Yes, I have to grow. Yes, I have to grow. But still, but still, I am God's son. I am God's son. Same gene, same gene, same life, same life, same DNA, same DNA, same family same family i i was was delivered delivered from satan's kingdom from satan's kingdom i was transferred i was transferred into jesus kingdom into jesus kingdom now now satan satan is not my ruler he is not my ruler he is the ruler of this world he is a ruler of this world but jesus is my ruler he jesus is my ruler ka ka to ra la ba ra ra ba ka ra ba sha ba la ra ba da ra ba ma ra ka ra ba da ra ba sha ba da ra ba da ra ba da ra ba Everybody says salvation salvation is the big parcel is a big parcel that was given to me that was given to me when i opened it when i opened it all the things inside all the things inside belongs to me belongs to me then you read first john 4:4 I am of God I am of God I have I have overcome overcome them Please honestly tell me you will overcome the devil or you have overcome the devil Can I tell you this is a very big battle you know why what i see is not true this 1 4 Four four is not true, according to what I see. I don't, I don't taste it in my life. I don't hear it. I don't feel it. I don't experience it. But these are all sense knowledge. Salvation delivered me out of sense knowledge into God's revelation knowledge. So God's revelation say 
you have overcome them yes, sir. now you say my god says my god says i have i have already already overcome overcome the spirit of antichrist the spirit of antichrist the lord says the lord says i have i have overcome overcome all my enemies all my enemies you may say anna how do you say it anna the bible says because because amen read it because because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world everybody say he who is in you he who is in you is stronger than he is stronger than greater than greater than mightier than mightier than who is in the world who is in the world you know please understand what connection the one who lives in me has already overcome his victory is my victory unless you accept his victory as your victory there is no victory you always think i have to overcome i have to fight i have to deliver i have to break it god says hey i got it for you i bought it for you i went to the cross when i was hanging on the cross i stripped off stripped off me all the authority from the devil i stripped off i disarm and i put it on you so my victory is your victory what i am saying now actually i wanted to go in many scriptures but i am forbidden i just want to lay the foundation on the day of salvation you are redeemed when the israelites left egypt they were redeemed people delivered people kingdom people god's kingdom people and god was with them you know we are so arrogant so proud we don't want to get free anything i have to do something it's very difficult it's very difficult to accept it so the whole church is teaching how to be free 10 steps to be free how to be walking in deliverance to all points how to overcome the devil 25 points god says i bought it for you on the day of easter i said it one man better not the whole army of israel and the philistines fought he says i am goliath come one person one david went one stone story finished then everybody started taking the israel flag see few of our indian cricketers they were playing you were sitting in the chair and eating the nuts and they won and you have the umbrella in the car everywhere celebrate your party leader won election he is a chief minister you are taking the umbrella we win we win this is very simple i don't know why the devil complicated our brain doesn't accept it you are of god 
you are of the victor you are born from the womb of victory victor your your dna is a overcoming dna just imagine somebody said when the tiger is hungry will the tiger eat the grass no ha huh? no when the lion is hungry will the lion eat the grass no why not born of lion born of lion the lion needs meat and the blood you are born of god you are born of god Christianity is not a religion it's a family God and his children sharing the same life I am of God I am from God you know you have to confess like that Jesus said you know I came from heaven I go back to heaven I am of heaven you are of this world such a confession we should make it everybody say for a new covenant new creature new creature new creation new creation prayer prayer and fasting and fasting must be full of confession must must be full of confession not begging not begging amen so you know you know how you have to fast take this word i am of god i am of god i am, I am of god i am from god i am from god god's life is in me i am his branch i am his he is my wife he is my wife i draw from his juice i draw from his juice his color is my color his color is my color his g- in essence is my essence his essence is my essence i am of god i am of god though i am a little child though i am a little child i am a child of the lord god i am a child of god i have i have overcome overcome the enemy the enemy because because the one who lives in me the one who lives in me overcome that overcome that this victory this victory is my victory is my victory because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world now i tell you where is the devil and the world inside you outside you? why he was inside one once upon a time god the stronger one came upon him disarmed him stripped of him and took you out of him and put him inside this is a b c d even honestly i tell you i wanted to go the whole 17th chapter but i am still putting a b c d not even e <laughs> start taking such scriptures and one hour two hour three hour boldly declare it because i have overcome them because he that is in me is greater than he that is in me now you come to exodus god told moses write it Exodus 17 chapter write it and the lord said to moses write this for a memorial in the book and recount it in the hearing of joshua everybody say write it write it in your heart in your heart what what god told moses to do it write right what god did in refidim yes you know the battle yesterday you read it yes write it how it happened this was a battle 
yes not fought by joshua and the army but on the mountain top amen everybody say the mountain top the mountain top sit now sit now again we will get up for confession everybody say speaking god's word speaking god's word is the most powerful prayer is the most powerful prayer again say speaking god's word speaking god's word is the most powerful prayer is the most powerful prayer yesterday you found out how to pray the word of god in my life i don't know how it happened nobody taught me very early i started when i pray i don't close my eyes i i open my eyes wide and open my bible read pray read confess read cry read laugh read dan amen i don't close the bible and read i pray in that i feel i have conversation with god he talks to me i talk to him so when you do that your life will be completely changed a new creation doesn't beg and plead boldly proclaim You know how you have to pray? Lord, you are the branch. Close your eyes. You are the vine. Imagine a plant, grape. And you say, I am the branch. Oh, from you. From you. Just see it. Just confess it. If you do it half an hour, that day you feel like an elephant. Amen. you go and begin 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 daya kar prabhu daya kar prabhu daya kar prabhu ashish do ashish to ashish to ashish to ashish to chutka dana do 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 na bid de and deliver me 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 you do it after one hour you will lose more energy after prayer than before devil is very happy let her fast and pray and cry and and die quickly it's a, now you are a new creation you just declare like that underline take the book of john underline how jesus confessed i and my father, and my father are one what is this it's begging what's that confession philip philip you want to see the father he that has seen me seen has seen the father Amen. okay i am not i will be one day i am the light of the whole world He that believes in me shall not die. I am the good shepherd. Imagine you go and tell the congregation, I am the best pastor. Everybody will say, Pastor Gamand ho gaya hai bhaat. Very arrogant, very proud. So you know what we have to say? Adi mai naan ungal mati nilkare. the slave i am a slave i am nothing i am nothing i yo this is celebrated what a humble man he comes before everybody and i say i am nothing test him when he is alone you call him pastor nothing <laughs> then the something will rise up people think it is humility it's not humility it's stupidity so please come into the word of god you are a new creation the lord said to moses write this what to write about amalekites or what to write 
How many of you read this chapter already? Tell me. Write this. What to write? The Amalekites came. Atrefit him. They started writing. Moses said, write it. Amalekite came. And they, I will go tomorrow. That He attacked them, a rear guard. And Moses said, he went up to the mountain with the rod of God in his hand. When his hands were lifted up, Israelites prevailed. Now you say, who is sitting on the highest throne? Jesus. Who is fighting on the valley? Joshua. Can I tell you? Head is in heaven. Body is working here. But the same supply. Head and body same. Yes or no? Yes. Huh? Yes. Head is here, body is not here. No, it's one. That's why I said you are gods. What to say? Can I say I have a human head but a cow's body? What should I say? You together you say he is a man. Yes, I can now. He is the head. Church is his body. What do you call the head? You call the body. Huh? No, 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 no. The head is divine. The body is human. No, we are his church. Yes, we have a body to carry Christ in us on the earth. So write this. Everybody say, write it in your heart. Write it in your heart. Write it in your mind. Write it in your mind. Write it in your imagination. Write it in your imagination. What God has done. What God has done. How God has won. God. How God has won. His winning. Is your winning. Is your winning. His wisdom. His wisdom. Is our wisdom. Is our wisdom. He fought the battle. He fought the battle. I won. I won. See, please understand. In the Old Testament, God will say, This is not your battle. It's my battle. If that is the case, I will fight your battles. In the New Testament, not will. He fought. He fought. I won. Start with the winning consciousness. Write it for a memorial in the book. In other words, this should be your memory. Then, recount it in the hearing of Joshua. Recite it. Not to the people, to the Joshua's. Can I tell you good news? Now is the Joshua generation. <laughs> Moses walked in the wilderness. I appreciate him. They really suffered. They led us in the wilderness. Now Joshua possess, drink honey, drink milk. New covenant relationship. So, recite it to the hearing of Joshua, the younger generation. I will utterly blot out the remembrance. Now, already caught, Jesus won the devil. But, in the book of Revelation, one day, one angel. One angel. How many angels? One angel. One angel. Uh, read it. Uh, Exodus. Revelation chapter 20. Uh, 20 chapter 20. Um, from verse 1. Uh, read it. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven. How many angels? One angel. How many? One in. Coming down from heaven. Ah. Having the key to the bottomless pit ah. and a great chain in his hand. Ah. He laid hold of the dragon. Dragon. That serpent of old. The one who came to Eden. 
Mr. Satan, the head of the whole demonic kingdom. He, the serpent, of the, the dragon, who is the devil, who is the devil, and Satan, Satan and bound him for a thousand years. One angel. Amen. Please understand, I have never encountered Satan. You are, none of your battles are with Satan. All our battles are with the demons. Small, 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 small demon. Demon of lust, demon of anger, uh, demon of uh, irritation, demon of sickness. All are chota. He's the boss. One angel handle him. You know what I am trying to do? I try to, you made him too big, ma. You only gave him glucose. <laughs> IV. You gave him IV glucose. And you only made him. Kitana Maha. The devil was so happy. Thank you. One angel with a big chain, bound. You know, I, I like the Bible writing. Bound Satan. I would have written like that. The dragon. The serpent all. Who is the devil? And Mr. Satan. All the dignity. <laughs> Great. MA, PhD, M. <laughs> Everything given. He is the chief of the department. He is the minister of finance in the nation. He is a chap. One beggar came. One small man came. Tied him. See her? Serpent of, huh? Serpent of the world. Who is the devil? Satan. Some people will say, be careful. Devil has 6,000 years experience. Don't underestimate him. 6,000 years. Who bothers? One angel, one chain. Bound him. One angel, one angel bind him. The devil didn't do like this. Time out. Yes, a time ma. You have no time. <laughs> Next word. And he cast him into the bottomless pit. Ayyo. <laughs> not even send him. <laughs> one Ask angel. Him. Everybody yeah. say one angel. One angel. One chain. One chain. Bound him. Bound him. Pushed him on the neck. Pushed him on the neck. Bam. Cast him. <laughs> and set a seal on him. And shut him up. Aapram? And shut him up and set a seal on him so that he should deceive the nations no more till thousand years were finished. You know why I say that? This is the end story of the cinema. When I was a small boy, you know, teenage boy, I used to go to cinema. The villain and the hero story, Appa. One hero will go alone in the room. Suddenly, one gunda will come here, come here, come here, come here, all around him. Big gundas. A small boy, you know, Jesus, Jesus. I used to pray for my hero. You believe it or not, I have prayed. Jesus, everywhere. My heart, you know, used to beat fast. Other gundas are so big, eh? total shaved head there. <laughs> Indian films are funny. I used to say, you know, I, I, I used to think like that. But the hero, you know, very short fellow. <laughs> I 
I used to say, thank you, Lord, you heard my prayers. <laughs> Imagine, if I see the cinema next time, when he is alone, will I pray? I, I, I will tell my neighbors, watch, watch. <laughs> watch now. He will turn this side. One hand, ten will roll. That is why God told the end cinema, Vanakkam. So next time when you go, <laughs> heart beat Allah on my lap. When the enemy comes, <laughs> <laughs> One angel. <laughs> One chain. Some of believers are thinking, Anna, so boldly you say, Anna, it's dangerous, Anna. <laughs> Our brain needs renewal. Amen. Alexander said, you know, renew your mind. Change your mindset. One angel. Then you know, thousand years, can you imagine? Can you imagine? At least for five years. Thousand years. Imagine the thousand years, how the world will be. No lust, no anger, nothing. Heaven on earth. And we all will rule. Why God it wrote it in a book and gave it? Hey, you know the end of power. Why you worry about the villain? So what happened? I read it down. Released after some time. Uh, but uh, uh, and I saw throne, thrones and they sat on them and judgment was committed to them. Then yeah, I uh, next jump, Alex. Again, the devil story. Seven. Uh. Seven. Uh. Uh, when, now, when the thousand years have expired. Uh, expiry date. Satan <laughs> <laughs> will be released from his prison. Uh. And will go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth. Gog and Magog together. How them, many of you know who is Gog and Magog? Very easy to answer. I don't know. <laughs> I just read Gog and Magog. <laughs> Yes, Russia, then China, then Pakistan, then Islam. Ah. Gog and Magog together, them together to battle, whose number is as the sand of the sea. The one thing I like about the devil is, he's unchanging. <laughs> after thousand years ago, after also, he will deceive. I like it. It's not uh, like us changing. One month to school, one, one uh, picture. He is the same unchanging devil. Ah, next word. They, they went up on the breadth of the earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. Amen. Now fire came. Woo. Amen. Burnt. Then the devil who deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are, and they will be tormented day and night for ever and ever. Everybody say, Father, I know. Father, I know. 
the deceiver the deceiver his end result his end result i know it lord i know it lord now now i am of god i am of god i am of god i am of god hallelujah hallelujah maybe i am a little child maybe i am a little child i am of god but i am of god i am a son of god i am a son of god i am a daughter of god i am the daughter of god i have i have overcome overcome all the spirit of anti christ all the spirit of anti christ because because he that is in me he that is in me is greater is greater than than he that is in the world than he is in the world i conclude this you know why god picked you up why he didn't pick up champions big politicians wise men noble men the bible says in first corinthians 126 read it one time and we will finish for you see your calling brethren that not many wise according to the flesh not many mighty not many noble are called everybody say now you are very happy i am an apostle i am a prophet i am an evangelist god says you are not wise many are not wise and some are wise but they are not mighty some are mighty many are not noble uh, next word but god has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise how and many of you believe god chose you Yes. What is your qualification? Right? Yes. Foolish things of the world. See, even to believe the devil will be bound, we should be fools. Otherwise we will argue. Huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> even to believe I have overcome the devil. Thank you Lord. I have overcome. Your victory is my victory. that only fools can understand wise people cannot understand no they cannot understand see we are two fools utter fools that's why 2000 years ago jesus won you say i his winning is my winning his victory is my victory can a clever fellow accept it that's why thank god god chose you and we believe such kahani <laughs> and we say i am of god we say i have overcome actually to understand the new covenant the only qualification is empty when you use a little brain god will say hey fool Ah read it But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise and God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty Please understand God picked you up and me to believe this truth of the new covenant Amen and through us his power will manifest Amen. wise people will be put to shame Amen strong people will be put to Amen. shame Amen. so never be ashamed of the gospel Amen. paul says i am not ashamed now it's very it is a shame some people say hey jesus crucified no shame but you say cross is my i boast about cross then and the best things of the world and the things which are despised god the has most chosen despised people the most low insignificant people god picked up because they will cling on god's power Amen. god's strength god's wisdom they will say lord i can't trust my wisdom i trust your wisdom my strength is in you lord my wisdom is in you lord so new covenant teaching is for the 
humble ones others it's not that easy so we have to you have to try i have seen all these people who poured out with all sincerity without the new covenant revelation that end was pathetic many times they are very holy in the younger age when the middle age comes their will power weakens they fall into sin more sincere people i have seen people who fasted 40 days they are no more they fell into sin after 40 days because they are looking for something to come ignoring already it is in us his victory is my victory only a foolish people can grasp this truth that's why god has hidden this thing from the wise and the prudent and to reveal to the children when the 70 disciples said demons obey us jesus said he thanked god father you have hidden these things from all the wise men and revealed it to the babies everybody said to be a baby to be a baby to be a child to be a child easily believing easily believing what god has done what god has done and writing it and writing it reciting it reciting it worshiping it worshiping it putting an altar putting an altar and calling it calling it as jehova nisi yes jehova nisi marakata Tarama. read it read it now and the things which are not to bring to nothing the things that are uh. that no flesh should glory in his presence hallelujah hallelujah everybody say god did god did everything for us everything for us so that so that no flesh no flesh can glory in his presence can glory in his presence is there anything to boast about now no. nothing your victory you will say i won the devil no I overcome sin? No. I fasted and got victory? No. no. Amen. I prayed and became victorious? No. You know why I am powerful? Because I pray every day 7 hours. Is it because of that? No. No. I'm not against prayer, but when you get the new covenant revelation, you you your prayer changes. Amen. You are not begging, you are enjoying. you are not all the time confessing i am not good i am not good you say the good person is in me his goodness is my goodness that changes your fasting prayer and you are everything even bible study will change you the people who come to baraka they always tell me anna after hearing all your teachings and the team's teaching the way i read bible changed okay no flesh should glory next word presence. but of him you are in christ jesus who shout it shout it of him of him. i am who? in christ jesus who is that of of him who is that shout it of. by the father by the father i am one with christ i am one with christ father god father god made me made me one with christ one with christ father god father god made me made me cry cry as, as my wisdom my wisdom christ wisdom christ wisdom is my wisdom is my wisdom say it 100 times christ wisdom is my wisdom christ wisdom is my wisdom please understand Do you think God's wisdom can solve everything you are, you are worried about? Yes. You you think so? Yes. All these issues you can easily overcome by God's wisdom? Yes. 
that is your wisdom amen he became shouted he became he became my wisdom my wisdom he became he became my righteousness my righteousness he became he became my sanctification my sanctification he became he became my redemption my redemption my deliverance my deliverance my freedom my freedom thank you jesus thank you jesus